hello everyone welcome to talented developer if you remember in last tutorial we have created a customer using the rest api so we are just going to continue same video on that time we have given our name and email and after that call our rest api and it created a customer right and this is our customer id right you can cross check directly here and same customer id you will see here right this is the unique key if you want to store into your database please store it so now we are going to create a customer using the theme lib because i'm not going to use any separate front-end application i'm just going to use the same embedded html page so for that we need to add the theme lib maven so just go to the google and search theme lib spring boot maven correct and it you can open open the first one just copy that dependency open your pom.xml save it if you want you can remove the version so just we are using theme leaf to render our ui i am not going to teach you in detail so i'm just going to show basic things to so this is a resource right so we need to create one template folder and give the name like templates so what will be happen whenever we are going to call any api it will render one html page so i'm going to give the name as a index.html I'm just going to copy paste normal code to you so it is not very tough code i'm having just one html template in head i have added bootstrap and font awesome and i have given the name and i have given one button to you right and here i'm giving the href name so i'm going to show how we are going to use that one so what we have to do if you remember this controller we are just going to call for the rest api and style payment controller we are just going to call during the UI rendering so for that we need to use controller no need to use rest controller so I'm going to give the name like index and so I have given the name as a index right so this index means it will go to the template section and it will find where is index.html and it will render that page so how we can see just terminate start so last time we have used localhost 800 port so just run right you can see right we have given here so what will be happen if you're going to give like index right you can see it is just going to call the same page so here I have created a button and I have given the name here so what will be happen I'm going to click on this we want to show a page on that place we can enter the name email id and whatever the details so how we can do so just come copy paste same thing and give the request mapping like a create customer same thing copy paste here And last tutorial I have given the name like index you can change it no problem and here I need to render a create customer page so create customer so we need to create one HTML page for the create customer so if I give a dummy name and if I stop the server and again if I start the server and if I go right you can see it is calling that page and whatever we have given it is printing here so now we need to design the that page I'm already having the code no need to worry just check in the description so I have copy pasted my code so what I'm doing here I have given here name right and email so this will be our key like name and email if you have multiple field you can just carry on and once you click on submit button it will call this form right so the method will be post 
and we have given our object like starting with customer data so if you remember we have given the model class as a customer data name and this will be our rest api we are going to create like whenever we are going to create our customer which api it have to call correct so just save now stop the server again start so now if you refresh it here we are getting error why we are getting error just go and check in the console right here you can see there is no any customer data available for the request attribute so what we have to do just come here so this is our model class now we stop and rerun the server so now refresh right you can see one attractive ui i know it is not good but it is somehow okay and if you have more parameter just add for our purpose i'm just giving the name like name and email so once i click on add customer currently i'm getting error because there is no any controller with the name of add customer so what we have to do so just copy same name so in last time we have used this code right i'm just going to use same code just remove this line and give the name like customer data just throw exception and now once this operation will be done we need to render at which page right so i'm just going to give like success so that means it will go and try to find is there any page with success then it will call that page so give the name like success dot HTML just I'm going to put message like success fully done so now what will be happen first of all we are going to call our index page from index page we are going to call customer button so it will go and render this page and once this page will be loaded you will see that UI right and once we are going to click on add customer we are going to enter the name and email we are setting name and email after that we are calling a stripe and once it will be successfully created it will go to the this page right so just stop run just refresh it name as a mic so let's click on add customer right you can see here we are getting successfully done that means customer has been created so how you can cross check just come and click on customer right you can see mike at that of gmail.com and we have given the name as a mike so you understand how we have created customer so first time we have used rest api on that time we have used postman and this time we have used theme leaf so in next tutorial we are going to see how to get all this customer so on that time we will try to show all the customer into this ui and in future we are going to add so many things in the same ui